Hello there, good morning. Uh, my name is John Munjok or John Shalom. This morning I want us to talk about uh, the article that I've written. It is going to come out at the end of December 2021. There are so many articles in between uh, because today is still January uh, 18th, 2021. But the reason why I want to say something about this article is that it is one of the controversial articles it is about eternity and you know today um, we have two two ways of looking at the world the spiritual which can also be religious and then the scientific way of looking at things and i, I just want to make it clear that um, science or natural sciences is more of the physical world that we can be able to detect, we can be able to measure, we can be able to, you know, to quantify, we can be able to study physically. That's what science is all about. But then, you know, thinking that the spiritual world is not real, like I've, I've seen many people online um, questioning the, 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 the fact about eternity or even spirituality, because if there's no eternity, then there's no God. If there's no God, then there's no life after death. If there's no life after death, then there's no eternal life or eternal death. Okay, I'm not here to dispute uh, between the eternal life and eternal death, but I'm talking about eternity in itself. And in relation to scientific evidence and the spirituality that I think is different from being religious and uh, I've written an article also about religiosity versus spirituality which to me are two different things you know we humans can make things uh, religious and my definition of religiosity is human culture something we make into our traditions and I think this is where Jesus and the Jewish uh, leaders of the day, Jewish spiritual leaders of the day, uh, differs. Because Jesus said, no, this thing is a practical thing. They say, no, it is something, you know, that is only in the mind. You don't do it practically. You believe in it, but you don't practice it. It is not, it doesn't change life. But I believe uh, spirituality is what you find in every culture, Every human being have a sense of being spiritual. And I think in this article we are talking about right now, I noticed that in every culture in the world, people know that uh, the, the soul or the spirit, or whatever we call it, doesn't die when the physical body dies. And there are lots of evidences about this. It didn't come uh, through Christianity or Islam in terms of Africa, okay? When we look at it uh, from the African perspective, you may agree with me that Africans have, or they already knew long before Christianity and Islam came, that people, when they die, they, the spirit doesn't die, okay? And if it doesn't die, then it has to be in a different life form. And you know, even elementary physics tells us that energy could not be created or destroyed. Is that true? If that is true, then life is a form of energy that can't really be created by human beings or destroyed by human beings. So it has to be its creator that may destroy it in his own way. I don't know how he's going to do it. But if, if life is a form of energy, and it is, then of course it is eternal. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like these videos, just hit the subscribe button below and turn on that bell so that whenever I release a short video like this, you'll be able to, to find it. And I also encourage you maybe to make a comment below so that I know what you think about these thoughts. Thank you so much. God bless you. Shalom.